Magnificent Books! I feel like there's a couple of us that joined booktube at the same time so I feel like this undying bond between us and I'll talk about that in my booktube story video. But yeah, Magnificent Books is one of those people. <laughs> so thank you for your questions in advance. What is your favorite book series and what is your favorite graphic novel series? My favorite book series is obviously Harry Potter. I also like Game of Thrones, Percy Jackson, The Girl of Fire and Thorns, the Infernal Devices trilogy. I like, there's so many series, The Hunger Games, of course, Divergent. Well, I really like The Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Paolini. There's just so many, so many. My favorite graphic novel series, I haven't read a lot in order to have a favorite. I don't know, because I haven't read a lot of graphic novels. So I'm gonna hold off on that question, sorry. When did I start reading the Avatar graphic novels? I started reading them after I watched the show and you should read them after you watch the anime show. Just a warning. They're great and according to the writers, they're canon. So this stuff really happened in between Avatar The Last Airbender and Avatar The Legend of Korra, which is airing right now on Nickelodeon and it's fantastic. What Avatar novel do you like the most? I like the trilogy that I'm reading right now. It's called The Search and it features my lovely handsome Prince Zuko looking for his mama. Can you recommend a good graphic novel or manga? I would recommend Death Note right now. It's fantastic. I would also recommend Full Metal Alchemist. Both of those and both of the anime shows are amazing as well. So check them out peeps. Booking the Trend asked me three paragraphs worth of questions so I'm going to rattle through them really quickly. So Let's get started. How do you come up with tags? Well, I came up with the fictional army tag because my cousin Miguel and I were doing a draft of all these people from different shows and animes and books and who we would want on our side. And I think I had like 30 characters and he had 30 characters and I was like, well, I can make a tag out of this. So I just created categories and that's how that got uh, started and I wish I would have waited to do the fictional army tag video because I was new to booktube and I had no clue what I was doing and my face was like this close to the camera. I'm surprised that as many people have done the fictional army tag as they have and if you haven't checked that out I'll link that below. Please go check it out and I tag you to do it because it's so much fun and thank you so much to whoever has done that tag and I actually have another tag in mind. I'm obsessed with the Emmys and the Oscars so I might wait until Oscar season in February to put that tag up there because it's kind of related to that so stay tuned guys there's more original tags on the way they'll never stop. Who is your favorite booktuber? Well, like I said, I'll be talking about my favorite booktubers in that my booktube story video, so stay tuned. Who is your overall favorite YouTuber? I don't really subscribe to a lot of people who aren't booktubers, but I do subscribe to Jeremy Johns. He is a movie reviewer, if you don't know, and you should definitely check his channel out because he's hilarious. I also subscribe to a lot of art channels because I'm interested in art. What is the worst book to movie TV screen adaptation you have ever seen? I'm gonna say Aragon. It was atrocious. We won't talk about it. Oh, and also Under the Dome, the TV show. I am so pissed off about Under the Dome, the TV show, because I was so looking forward to it. I loved the book and it's just not what I expected at all. Do you read historical fiction? Yes, I love historical fiction when I get my hands on a good book. I love the Rome series by Kate Quinn. It's an adult series set in ancient Rome and it's just fantastic. The characters that she's created are just mind-boggling amazing. It's just so amazing how she's done it. I'm actually reading Outlander right now by Diana Gabaldon and that's kind of like historical time traveling romance type deal and I'm really enjoying that. I love historical fiction. I wish I'd read more of it. What tips do you have for new booktubers? Just to be yourself. People have told me that when they watch my videos they wish that I was like this in real life and I wish I could be like this in real life but I'm just so to myself. I have like no self-esteem and no self-confidence but you wouldn't know that because I come across so happy and bubbly in these videos and I wish I could apply this to my real life. So just be yourself and make friends. Like that's what you're here for. You're not here for subscribers. Just make friends and you'll feel so accomplished just by doing that. I love interacting with people and it just makes my entire day. And also 
a good tip is to try to answer every single comment that is left on your videos. I try really hard to do that because I feel like if people are taking the time to watch my videos and my ramblings and such, that they deserve answers when they comment on my videos. Just engage, watch videos, leave comments. The biggest thing would be to have a Twitter account and interact with people on there, make friends on Twitter to bring over to YouTube, like cross social media friendships type deal. It really helps a lot to have social media. And it doesn't matter what camera you have. I'm using my iPhone to record my videos. Just be yourself and have fun and do what you want to do with your videos. I hope that helped. Who is your favorite author? I love JK Rowling. I like Ray Carson. I like Suzanne Collins. I like Cassandra Clare, if it isn't obvious, George R. R. Martin, David Eddings, James Rollins, Harlan Coben, Matthew Riley, David Baldacci, Stephen King. Yeah, the list goes on. What is your favorite book-related tag? That's so hard because I love my tags. I like them all. I like them all. I know that's a cop-out answer, but I like them all. Are you doing NaNoWriMo? I am not doing NaNoWriMo in November because I just don't have time because I'm graduating in December and everything's going to come to a head for me. So I will do NaNoWriMo, Camp NaNoWriMo in April. And I also plan to do VEDA in April, vlog every day in April. And I'll incorporate that with NaNoWriMo, I'm sure. So I cannot wait for April. Yes. What do you like best about BookTube? I have met such amazing people since starting my BookTube channel. And I just love the support the BookTube community has for um, each other. And I love the respect. And everyone's just so nice and welcoming. And I am just so grateful to be a part of this community. What sports do I play? <laughs> Bowling. I can't do anything else. I'm athletically challenged. Do you ever procrastinate? Uh, yeah. All the time. Who doesn't procrastinate? It's a problem. Big problem. What is your happiest memory? Probably when my sister was born. Yeah. Also, when my team went to nationals for the first time, my fourth year of bowling in college, that was really amazing. We were part of the top eight in the nation. Everything to do with my family. I'm just so grateful. So grateful. Yeah. When my siblings were born. When my cousin Miguel and I started to get closer. So, all of that warms my heart. What is your favorite quote? I have a lot of favorite quotes. That's an interesting question. I'm gonna have to answer that in a different video because I want to talk about my quotes. Do you have any posters up in your room? It's my collage of Entertainment Weekly covers plus a little bit of drawings and things like that. When do I read? I read all the time. I read everywhere and anywhere. If I'm reading a book on my Kindle account, I have my Kindle app on my phone, I have it on my iPad. I read anywhere and everywhere and I read as often as I possibly can. And that's a problem because at some point I need to put the books down and start writing my own. So yeah. How long was your longest reading slump? I don't really have reading slumps. I just go a couple days sometimes without reading and it doesn't really bother me. Sometimes you just need a break. How do you decide what to read next? I decide what to read next based on just staring at my bookshelves, whether I want to carry a book around or whether I want to read something that's been on my Kindle waiting for me. I just pick one and start going at it pretty much. I don't really have a method. What is your favorite bookmark? I don't really use bookmarks. I just kind of memorize the page number. I know that's weird, but I don't really own bookmarks. I guess I should get one. What book do you love but nobody else does? I really, really love Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I thought it was so original and so creative. And I know there's a lot of mixed reviews out there. I know there's a lot of hatred for it. Love that book though. And I can't wait for the third book that comes out next year. I also love The Girl of Fire and Thorns. Have I mentioned that enough? lately in my videos, but that trilogy is so amazing. And I don't think it's because anybody hates it, but it's because there's not a lot of talk about it. I think that it's underrated. Have you ever been abroad? No, I haven't. And I would love to go to Europe so bad in the worst possible way. What is your favorite color? Blue, always been blue, always will be blue. Physical bookstore or Amazon? Definitely Amazon is cheaper and I can window shop from the comfort of a chair. Borrow a book or buy it for yourself? buy it for myself. I know that sounds terrible, but I want to have a great collection when I get older and I'm already starting to have one. So definitely buy it. Do you like thrillers? Yes, I love thrillers, but not scary, just suspenseful. I like Gillian Flynn. She wrote Gone Girl. She wrote Dark Places and Sharp Objects. All three of those books are hella amazing. Oh my god, the characters and 
I like action thriller, mystery thriller. I like it all. I like it all. Harlan Coben has great mysteries, quick reads. Do you use Pick Monkey for your channel thumbnails? Yes, I do. I don't know where I found that out. I think somebody had a video suggesting on how to do thumbnails easily. But yeah, I use PickMonkey.com. It's easy and it's free. So yeah, if you don't know what PickMonkey.com is, it's like this thing where you can upload a picture and then just edit the crap out of it to do whatever you want. So check it out. I'll link it below. What editing software do you use? I use iMovie because it's built into my Mac and I didn't want to pay for anything because I'm kind of broke. Soft cover or hard cover? I'm gonna go with paperback. I can't believe I'm saying that, but definitely paperback. Except if it's a book that, you know, is a new release and I just have to have it, then I don't care. <laughs> Do you watch the Vlogbrothers? I don't watch the Vlogbrothers. I feel like that's a sin against nature. Ugh. What is your favorite song? Oh my god! My favorite song. I listen to a lot of different music. I don't know if I have a favorite song. I like Matchbox 20. I like Maroon 5. I love listening to the Glee music. Lee Michelle is just phenomenal. Ugh. I love Fall Out Boy. I like Some Country. My top played song on iTunes is With Me by Some 41. And I don't really know why, but I just love that song. Is this too many questions? Nope. Bring it on. That's a wrap for all of the answers. So, wow. Wow. Holy questions. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see more of you in the future and stay tuned for my booktube story video coming soon. Have a good day. Bye bye Does it look like I play sports? Bowling. Aww. She sings and I think of like melted butter. No, I'm just kidding. I have a shit ton of them. <laughs> What? I'm sorry. They're canon, so Lord of the... No, I'm just kidding. I would never do that. Which I wait... I wish... I live for the applause, applause, live for the applause, applause. Yeah, don't mind me. <laughs>